Tech friends, glad to see you guys back here for another episode of Tech of Tomorrow. What's going on today? We got a bunch of news stories for you guys. But first off, I want you guys to check out something that the people over at PC Mod sent me. Now, this is the Ripper XXXX Super Extremely Large Mouse Pad. Now, this thing's made for gaming. It's 36 by 18 by 1 eighth of an inch thick, made of nanofiber. It's supposed to be a pretty awesome thing. And it's huge. That's right. I mean, let's look at the size of the thing. So, I didn't figure we'd bring you a total video on the thing, so I figured, hey, what the heck, you know what? Let's bring it to these guys in the news video. So then, you know, the people who want to see newsworthy stuff can actually check something out at the same time. So, basically, here's the box, folks. Blah, blah, blah. I just opened it up. It's a cool box, though. It's got cool design and all that stuff on it. So I guess the extract pads. And look at it. It's 100% recyclable. Now, I got to admit, I like that right off the bat. Shows these guys are totally green friendly. I like that. The planet's not going anywhere. We might be, but hmm. let's move on. So check it out. Here it is. It's a giant sized, hugely giant sized mouse pad. Ooh, kind of smells like you've ever been inside of a tire factory in one of those places they sell tires. It has that same kind of like rubbery smell. So check it out. It's wow. I, um, okay, folks, I lied. It's not a mouse pad. This is some of that new wearable tech shit people have been talking about. It's a, oh, it's a neck pad. Yeah. I mean, but it was getting a little bit cold in here. So this is, you know, it's actually, you know, wearable tech. Doesn't it look beautiful on me. I think it does, but no, check it out. Giant size mouse pad. Now I know my son would love this thing. He loves these giant mouse pads. This thing's actually really huge. It's gonna fit like across the desk, across everything else. I could even wear it as a hula skirt, you know, a couple more pounds lost. So this could be my hula skirt thing and a little hula dance in it. But all right, so that's it. This is it. Giant size mouse pad for you folks. Thank you guys very much for sending it. Now, what are the news stories? All right, check it out, folks. Intel has a Haswell refresh coming up. 10 brand new CPUs are coming out. Now, every one of these CPUs is basically going to be at least 100 megahertz in a speed bump. That's the big thing about these things. They'll be replacing the current CPUs that are out there. There's not too much that's like new really at all. There's no grand new technology that I've heard about so far. It's just basically 10 new SKUs coming out ranging in different prices so you know that all the old ones will be priced less. So if you guys are interested in the pricing and want to see all this stuff over on our website, we'll have the full information about this story, all the different breakdown of what those things are. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check out the link down below in the description where we'll have that entire story and you guys can check that out but basically intel is coming back with more haswells 10 brand new ones that's what's happening i think it's pretty exciting stuff at least you know if you're buying a new system or looking to upgrade you've got some more choices hmm. oh by the way the top of the line will be 4.0 gigahertz that's not too shabby huh all right, so the next story is this guy, Kurt Murky Jr., he's the veteran Apple guy. He's come up with this design for mixing a Mac Pro and an iMac all together in one giant package. This thing's got a giant, like, 30-inch screen. Amazing looking. Now, I admit, it's going to be, obviously, you guys know it, it's Mac stuff. It's not a Big Mac, so it's going to be pricey. A Big Mac you can probably get for 99 cents at McDonald's, but this particular Mac is going to be much more pricey. But it's a total concept design. It's going to be cool shit. For those people who are just like, you know, they're like, like snooty going, I like the cool shit better than anyone else. I, I want one. You know, this is going to be for you. For the folks that are like logical, you're going to be going, are you out of your mind? I know I'm with you sometimes on that as well. But hey, this is the news is what's going on out there. And I know some people are interested in it. So if you guys also, once again, want to check that out, we'll have all the pictures, all that stuff over on the site. I think you guys will like it for the people who are into Mac. So if you go, okay, yeah, it's unique. It's kind of cool, but pff, it's too damn much. I can't afford that. Who can? But hey, for coolness alone, hey, all righty then. Next story, Batman Arkham Knight gets released for all platforms. So no matter what kind of gamer you are, regardless of what kind of gamer you are, either platform guy, PC guy, uh, maybe even Mac this time, you'll be able to get into this game. Now, I love Batman. You go around, you fight all the Batman characters, you whip your cape around, you fly through the air in this cool city, you know. It's kind of pretty much the, almost like a fighting game mixed with a little bit of other stuff. I kind of wish there were, you know, different aspects to it. I think that'd be kind of cooler, but it is what it is. Now, there's been lots of incarnations of this game. This is the very latest one. You guys want to see all the information about that. Hey, you guys know where to get it on the website. Yes, sir. That's where it's at. Who up and take a mind reader. All right. Next story. What's going on? Okay. So there's always something going on, right? News is always, always happening. And so some 12 year old kid decides that he's going to break the new HTC 
the new one. That's right, the M8 code name was totally released by this kid, like 12 minute long video by a 12 year old kid, where like he says you know, all these crazy things and he's like saying, hey, I'm, I'm sponsored by these guys. Like, yeah, I'm like, a, I'm like a badass reviewer, bro. Like I'm the number one. If you guys wanna check that out, also I know it's a pretty damn funny story. We have the video and all the footage and all the information about that over again on the website. It's gonna be pretty funny ass stuff. I think you guys should check it out if you haven't heard anything about this. It is actually a really big crack at the guy like has tried to play it off like he's like Mr. Pro Reviewer but let me tell you, he's no Marquez, so uh, just go with that. He is, he's definitely not that level, but it's pretty funny. All right, last story of the day. Drum roll, please. Gaming. Ooh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Captain Kevin brings you guys the full review of that game over on Tech of Tomorrow. That's right. So the video for that, full written article, you'll have in every format you guys love the flavor of. If you like video flavor, if you guys like the reading, you want to read, you can get that as well. It's all for you folks. Now, before I bounce out of here, though, I want to give a special thanks to LegalZoom, because without their help, we wouldn't be able to bring this video to the table for you folks. Now, listen, folks, this ain't no better call Saul, this stuff's actually legit. A lot of people out there in the world are starting up their website and their business, and they're actually looking for a way to start their LLC. Now this starts out at an unbelievable $99, and over a million entrepreneurs out there have taken advantage of this great price. So now I know probably a lot of you people out there have been thinking about this, but you've been a little bit gun shy. But there's never been a better opportunity for you to try LegalZoom. And right now, you can actually get a discount in the checkout by entering the code TOT. So make sure you guys head over to LegalZoom.com. In the checkout, hit TOT, and you can support both us and yourself all in one nice bundle. So that pretty much sums it up, man. Those are the top news stories of this week floating around. Some pretty funny ones, some pretty cool ones. Thanks a lot to people over there at PCMoz.com for sending over that extra, extra large ripper mat. Uh, I think I'll give that to my son. I think he'll appreciate that a lot. You may get a thank you straight from him. That's it, folks, though. Thank you guys for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like this style of video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Like I said before, all of the information of this will be down there in the descriptions. You guys click on that down below. You guys can see the full stories, pictures. So if you want to feed your brain more information, that kind of stuff is for you. Make sure you guys check that out. If you're not sub to Tech of Tomorrow and you want to be and want to see us in your inbox, hey, there'll be a little thing right back on here to, to click on. I'm Eric. We'll see you guys back here in the channel. Peace.